In this video, we talk about how you save documents in different formats. And the first thing that we want to, to notice on a Mac is that there are different save commands per application. We obviously can't go through all of them. So under text edit here, I have two documents open. You'll see I have a save, a save as, save as PDF, save all, revert to saved. But if I pop down here to iPhoto and I bring up iPhoto, there's actually no save command in iPhoto. If I go into mail, for example, and I start a new mail, command N to begin a new mail, and go under file, you'll see I have a save, save as, and save as stationary. So what I'm about to show you with text edit is not universal across all applications, but save and save as generally are universal across most applications. And iPhoto, uh, you're not doing those saves because you put really everything into a library. So we'll quit iPhoto and we're back in text edit. So saving. Let's go in first of all and we'll remember from our other video training that as soon as we make a change, we have a little dark circle in the middle, which means we have unsaved changes. We already have a document that we've started and named. So at this point, either Command S or going under File Save will simply save this on top of the previous version. It will, will incorporate those changes and have a new saved document. All right, and with these unsaved changes, the other thing I could do is do File Save As, which means I want to save this document and give it a new name to incorporate these changes and leave the previous document that I had as it was, so without the changes. So Save As means I want to save it on my Mac hard drive. I could either expose or not this window that comes along with this little arrow. So if I don't expose this window, I'm effectively getting the option to change the name to manually change the extension as you see here or to change the file format right here. So for example, if I needed this document, I'm going to send it to someone in a way that they can open it in Microsoft Word. I could change in that to a .doc as you'll notice there. And then the where area here is just where it is currently located and then some of the main locations on my Mac and then the recent places. But of course, if I hit this little arrow button, I get a full capability to choose any folder anywhere within this Finder window and there's separate training in both our Learn Track and our Rock Track on Finder. And then last is this hide extension button down here. If you don't want to accidentally type over top of the extension, you can check that box and that will always hide the extension until you come back and uncheck it whenever you are saving uh, a file. So that's how you save and relocate a file or change its file format. And again, sometimes you'll have this option and sometimes you won't depend on depending on what it is that you're working with. But for here, we'll just take this and we'll move this window back over and we'll hit Command S. We'll just save that on top and our little dark circle goes away. Our next option would be to save as PDF. PDF stands for a portable document format. So I mentioned before I could save this in a Microsoft Word type format and that person could open it and edit it in Microsoft Word. But if you have a document you've created in text edit or any other application on your Mac and the person you, you want to send it to doesn't nearly necessarily have to work with the document, you just want to make sure they can open and read it, then you want to save it as a PDF. Portable document format means that as long as they have a PDF reader, and that's something like Adobe Reader or PostScript, most computers now have that loaded on them by default, they will be able to open and view that no matter what application you created that file in whether you created it in Pages or Keynote or Text Edit or anything on your Mac, if you save it as a PDF or you print the PDF, which you'll see in the print training, that pretty much ensures they'll be able to uh, open it. So once again, if I choose to uncheck this box to hide extension, you'll see it's putting the extension .pdf on the end of it. So if we call this my first doc.pdf, and we will put this in my home folder into our for training. So we'll have a my first doc.pdf and we will save it. So now that I've saved that as a PDF, I go to Finder. I'm going to go into my home folder and into the for training folder. I have my first doc, that's my text edit document. I have my first doc.pdf, that is my portable document format document. Two more things on saving, I have save all and revert to saved. Revert to saved means I come in here and I make some changes. And then I make some more. And I decide I really don't want to accept what I did but I can't even really remember what I did. So I could either close it and not save the changes, or I could come back here to file and just say revert to saved, and that will revert it back. You'll see the little warning message here that my changes will be lost. I hit revert, and that takes it back to the last time that that document was saved. And then the last option, we will look at file save all. You'll see it's grayed out. If I have multiple windows open within an application, and we make another change here, 
and we go to the second document and we make a change. I now have two different documents. They both have this little dark circle in the middle of them. As you can see here, I can go to File and I can choose Save All and that will save both documents at the same time. So there you go. That's all of the save, main save commands within Text Edit. And again, you'll get some of these that will show up in certain applications and others that won't.